Hey guys, today I'm filming my next update for the Power of Pan project that was created by Nikki Pearson for the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. And this is inspired by the original TV show Charmed. This is a year long project that has been going since last October. And we had a little bit over 20 prompts. You could bring them in whichever way you choose. And I am down to just a few prompts left. And I was able to hit some goals since last update, which is super exciting. And we do have two months left in this project so I do feel pretty good like I should be able to hit my goal on everything but we'll see. I was able to hit my goal on three products since last update. The first would be for the prompt Leo or white lighter which was a glowy product. I had the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter liners in Starfire which was a copper and Midnight Cowboy which is their classic champagne shade and at the last update I had hit my goal on Starfire but for the Midnight Cowboy shade I had used it two out of the three times I did use it that third time and I actually ended up decluttering both of these products to my friend Jean I'm really glad I put them in this project because it made me finally let go of them it was a cult classic product so I felt like I needed to have it but I was never reaching for it so I'd rather pass it on before they dry up next prompt was the Shax demon something that deserves a second chance I had chosen the KVD dazzle stick and electro bolt these are going to be part of also 20 days of beauty in case you're interested in picking any up and my goal was to use this three times I believe that last update I'd use it twice so I did get my additional use this has been used three times and this is something that is super pigmented it is a little bit chunky which is why i find it a bit challenging to work with i do have hooded eyes and i have smaller lids and this is bigger and at an angle whereas my laura mercier caviar sticks are smaller and a bit more rounded and pigmented but not like this so those are a little bit easier for me to use with this one i feel like i need to you know try to apply it basically at the base of my lashes to get it on this part of my lid and then I'll take a brush for the top part of my lid and that's just a little bit annoying to me it defeats the purpose of the product being in the stick and because it's cumbersome to use that's why I hadn't reached for it very much but I loved the looks with this it really is a special product so I am going to hang on to this I won't buy any more but I will keep it and the third and final prompt that I hit my goal on would be for Nexus and that would be a neutral shadow or lipstick I had chosen the Vesca Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow and Karina I wanted to use it three times as of last update I used it twice so I did use it that third time and I actually really ended up loving this I think this is a beautiful golden bronzy shade and with this sort of squeeze to packaging yeah it's not as easy to use but what i just started doing was actually just squeezing some on the back of my hand and then using a like synthetic flat paddle brush and painting it on my lid after i had already applied all of my matte shades in the crease and that worked really easily and is such a beautiful shade so very very happy that i brought these into this project because i have gained an appreciation for them that is enough for me to keep these so that means we have four prompts left to work on over these next couple months two of these did not get any use from me and the first one i'm really disappointed by i thought this was going to be rolled out and that would be for the prompt get in a product you need to learn to use for me i had chosen self tanner i have four different self tanners in my collection and i wanted to use them one time each and the only one i had left was this vita liberata self tanning gradual lotion i didn't use it so i will make sure to use this by next update usually i would use my self tanning product the night before i filmed these updates but i did not take a shower last night so i need to do this tonight just to go ahead and knock it out i am excited to try it and i'm glad that i have these updates to help hold me accountable for trying self tanning products and if you haven't seen these updates before all of the self tanners i got were free i didn't purchase them and not use them they were free you know just to justify it a little bit next for the prompt piper it was an anti-aging product and i had brought in this little mini estee lauder advanced night repair and this is something that i wanted to just use when i was traveling to make this a little bit more of a challenging prompt to make it last longer and this has been moving very slowly because i really have not been traveling i thought i was going to go on two family vacations this year and we just went on one and i didn't get any use out of this over the past month because i didn't go anywhere in not this weekend but next weekend i'm gonna be going to my parents house so i should get one more use out of this and if it gets down to 
the last couple weeks I will just use this at night at home but I would really like to not have to so so far I do have a total of 10 uses on this serum and next for grams and oldest product I picked my oldest pressed powder which was my crusty dusty Rimmel Stay Matte, which is my holy grail mattifying powder, touch-up powder. I have been using and repurchasing this for years, and this is so much progress compared to last update. I did repress this two updates ago, so I will give you my weights since repressing it. 1.088. Last update was 1.058. I hadn't used it very much, and today is 1.012. So this should be finished by next update, which is great because I was starting to feel not so sure about it. I thought it'd be finished by the end of the year, but this should be knocked out my next update which is great i already have a backup of this and then the last prompt was for triad a triangular shaped product and i had chosen the buxom powerline plumping lip liner in hush hush henna this is just a little mini size and initially i wanted to use it 10 times and then i decided that i would just try to finish it completely and i actually had one use as of last update but i have used it more just over i think i've used it two days i want to i'm filming this on a monday i think last thursday i got like one or two uses on it and friday i got a couple uses so now i'm up to 11 total uses and i'm glad that i changed my goal because i was wrong like some of the tip has worn off but it was not finished in 10 uses so this will be a little bit more of a challenge and this is a product that i thought was not going to have any progress by today because this is a fall color for me so i thought i'd start using it in september but i wanted to have enough time to try to finish this before the finale and if you guys saw my summer project pan update because i'm behind i decided to actually just kind of work on a fall lip combo that i think works perfectly enough for this last little bit of summertime. So that is using the Buxom Lip Liner. And then I am topping it with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. I just pulled the stopper out of this. So there is a lot of product coating the sides on the bottom and then the wand is fully coated. So I really am hoping that I can finish both of these in a month but we'll see and I will continue tracking the uses here and I am reapplying actually both products before each of my sessions and that could be four to eight times a day so I'm really excited to see how many uses I will actually get out of this little mini so I'm feeling pretty good about this I think by next update this will be rolled out this will be rolled out and I think I will just have the serum and the lip liner but we will see so I know this was a bit of a shorter update but that's how it goes when you don't roll new items in nikki did such an amazing job creating the prompts for this project this has been so much fun to do a theme project and as you guys know i like to post my project pan updates all in a row so i did post a few before this one this will be my last one and i would love to know what products you are doing right now and what items you're working on i want to thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon Bye, guys.